All right, guys, here we are. It's the day of the Rhode Island, Rhode Island Dog Classic, and I uh, managed to get out. Uh, as you can see, probably the background, it's not really good conditions to be fishing, and uh, I gotta agree with that. But you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Um, head to toe rain gear, winter cap, got the brown teddy bear sweatshirt on. It's cold out here, it's like 37 degrees or something like that on the way down. So we're uh, gonna give it a go. Lines are in in uh, three minutes, so we can't fish yet. All my baits cut. I got myself, I don't know if you can see this. All my baits already cut. It's a nice little tip to uh, maximize your fishing time. What you really want to do is you want to uh, get all the tedious work out of the way before you start. It takes away from fishing time. So, um, all right, guys. Tog's the name of the game today. Hopefully, we can get a big one. Take the first place for the uh, kayak category. Um, there's a good chance that I'll be off the water before too. Uh, way before too because of this wind so uh, we'll see what happens uh, game starts at 650 and ends at 2 so let's uh, let's make it happen guys see you out there all right guys 650 there it is that is the alarm saying I can fish so let's do this First fish of the day, and it's a nicer one. Not, not a monster. I gotta take this drag up, but it's got a good pull. All right. That's a sub-21 fish, which at least won't get me on the board. But, uh, that is a nice one. Oh, let's hope that's a uh, indicator of things to come. That's one of them dinner fish. Uh, really nice way to start the day. That might be the one. Don't rock me. Don't rock me. That's a good start, guys. That's a face full of water. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh man, it is. It is just nasty out here, guys. There we go. It's a really nice, maybe 23 inch fish. So, it's a contender. Yeah, 23 and a half inches. Good. Good start. Good start. Another 
keep her going back. Leave one. Oh. Come on, I don't want to keep you. Checking the weather while fishing, and that's when you catch a decent one, you know. Can't say it's a great one. What a decent one. Ugh. Okay, guess you're not ready. Whoa! Yeah, not a fan of that. He'll make the grade. We're gonna keep this one. There's no no need to, to wait for a bigger one than this. Uh, it's nice though. Pretty fish. This fish isn't that small. Holy moly, that might be the tournament fish right there guys. Look at that. This fish. 
Look at that. Yeah, I got big hands. That's a big fish. That's gonna be all of seven or eight. Another nice fish. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's another nice 20 inch. Oh, Danny. He really wants to go back in the water, I guess, huh? There we go. See you later, buddy. Thank you. Really great fish. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I uh, I can't believe that I caught that that 27 inch tog. That fish is huge. It's definitely a personal best, and to do it on a tournament day is so much better. Oh my goodness, this is another nice fish. Wow. This crappy weather has got these big boys biting. Holy moly. Sure, my kill switch is still tied on. Oh my gosh, look at that. Hey, it's getting real nasty out. <laughs> oh my god. Get on the net. This might be bigger than that other one. I don't even know. Now, uh, you know what? We're, we're not gonna net him. But this is a really, really nice talk. Yeah. I don't recommend flipping talk like that. But you gotta do it. You gotta do it when you got a big fish next to the boat, right? This is a heavy fish. Look at this. Look at this. Hold up the light. I have beautiful fish. I mean, I got big hands. That fish is big. All right. All right, here's the release. Thanks, buddy. That one went like 23 and a half inches, 24 inches. Not a real one. This nice fish. <laughs> this is a nice fish. It is. There you go. Nice 20 inch. So I had to uh, skip out on doing the video on the water for the recap of the trip. The uh, ocean got just way too snotty. 
get too dangerous out there. I had to call it quits. I only got to fish for, I think, an hour and 40 minutes. Um, and that's just due to the fact that the 6.50 start time and then uh, the sea condition came up so much, I had to go. Um, I wanted to stay out there. I was having a phenomenal day. Uh, I mean, in that hour and 40 minutes, I caught, let's see, I caught uh, my new personal best. That's, that's the biggest top dog I've ever caught in my life. And that one went, let's see, haven't weighed it yet, but it was 27 inches on the uh, fish board. And so it's, it's definitely the longest fish I ever caught. And uh, weight wise, I'm sure it's the longest one. Um, the other fish I caught, I got a couple 23 and a half inch fish. And uh, let's see, the second one was over eight pounds. That was an awesome fish. Uh, it was just all, all muscle and uh, all that, so it was good. And then uh, I got that one, I think it was the second fish I caught on the second drop was that other 23 and a half inch. Might have even been 24, I can't remember anymore. Um, so just a great trip. The dog were on that, were on a tear just from the get go. And I really, really, really wanted to stay out there on them, but the weather dictates what you do and it got too dangerous and I had to pull the plug early. Uh, the tournament's still going on. Um, lines out of the water at two. So right now, here I am sitting in a CVS parking lot, uh, waiting for the weigh-in. Weigh-in's not till noon. And uh, uh, lines out at two. And then I think the lines shut down at four for the weigh-in. And um, we'll see what happens. I think I have a good shot, or at least placing, if not getting first place. Uh, I looked at last year's records for the uh, tournament, and I think the biggest kayak fish for last year was under seven pounds. So um, if my hunch is correct, this fish is over 10. And uh, we'll see what happens. I, I really am, really am really excited about the way in here. So, all right, I'm gonna let you guys go here and uh, We'll probably do some videos of the weigh-in maybe or uh, at least get a picture of the leaderboard and then I'll let you guys know how I did. See you guys in a little bit. Alright, just did the weigh-in. I got my uh, tournament hat, tournament shirt and all that stuff that all I check in. And I ended up getting uh, certified scale 10 pound 6 ounces on that fish. Um, so it's official, it's the biggest talk I've ever caught in my life. I've never broken the double digits, so super pumped about that. And uh, hey, let's hope it sticks. Uh, and I can take, I'd like to take first on this. Uh, either way, I had a great time so far, and uh, I'll come back with another update in a little bit. So here's a picture of me with the fish that I uh, won the tournament with. Actually, I want to thank Tom O'Brien for taking this picture because I uh, don't have any pictures of, from myself of that fish, so. Appreciate that, bud. Thank you. All right, here's the final standings from the tournament itself. Um, there's a nice 15-pounder that took the uh, boat category, some 12s and 11s, stuff like that. I think my fish was the fifth biggest fish in the entire tournament, which is not too shabby considering I'm in a kayak. All right, so here's uh, me receiving my prize for the first place kayak. Um, these are the top three right here for the kayak division. And that's uh, Ralph Kraft from Crafty One Customs, who put this tournament on there, delivering the check. So big thanks to him, and what a great tournament this was. All right, guys, that's going to be it. Um, so the final tally was that I uh, took away first place kayak division for the Rhode Island Tog Classic um, with the 10.6-pound 10, 10 tow tog. Blackfish, whatever you want to call them. Uh, it was, what a day. Uh, I ended up getting, I think, three fish and the eight, oh, eight pounds were over today. And the uh, very, very short amount of time that I uh, fished. Uh, the weather kicked me off the water, but what are you gonna do? It's nature and that's what we have. Took a big risk and it paid out. Uh, it's not always gonna be that way, but it is what it is. Uh, big shout out to Ralph Kraft for putting on this, and his wife, for putting on this great tournament um, to benefit the cancer uh, research. I think it was Three Angels Fund. Uh, that was great. He didn't have to do any of this stuff, but he's a pretty selfless guy who uh, put together this great, great fishing tournament and 
huge turnout. I think, I don't know, five to 700 people showed up, I believe, or had entries today. And, uh, you know, everybody seemed to have a good time. Food was great. Company was great. A lot of people uh, that are influential in the sport were down there. Good to see all those people out doing their thing. Uh, just an absolutely awesome day, and it's kind of a surreal experience because this is the first actual in person fishing tournament that I've taken part of and uh, I won it in my, my division not the overall there's no overall this uh, I went away with some great prizes uh, I won a nice helix uh, 9 fish finder from Hummingbird and the uh, raffle which was great because mine is on the fritz so the timing was phenomenal um, won some money and uh, what else did I get? we got that fantastic trophy the trophy that uh Ralph had made up was phenomenal. It's a nice toe tog uh, made out of pottery. Uh, that was really, really, really neat. And the uh, rod and reel that I won with the first place kayak division was phenomenal too. Uh, made by Jigging World, which was another one of the sponsors. So thank you for all the sponsors that came out and helped out with that. That was awesome. Thanks for doing that. And uh, that's it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the uh, movie. This, actually, not the movie, but the, the show or episode or whatever you want to call it. And uh, if you guys like what you see, just like and subscribe. Um, I'll uh, have the links for all the stuff that I used for the fishing part down in the description. And you guys have a good one. Thank you.